Can you get vitamin D from your diet? Well, actually you can if you plan to eat about 30 ounces of fatty fish like salmon per day. Now, most people are not going to do that. Some might, but most aren't. Now, vitamin D is also called the sunshine vitamin because we're supposed to get vitamin D from the sun. Um, because if you're out in the sun, let's say on a summer day, and you are out there with you know at least 40% of your skin showing, you are going to produce about 1,000 IUs, which is about 25 micrograms of vitamin D per 10 minutes. Now, the only thing is that is really only the case if you are close to the equator and I got a list here. So hang tight. So you're close to the equator and you're young, you're not overweight or have diabetes. It's the summer. It's the mid part of the day. You're laying down and not standing up because when you're standing up, the sun is only hitting your head. So it's not being, your body uh, is not being exposed to the sun as much. Uh, you're not using sunscreen, you have a healthy liver, it's not a cloudy day, there's no pollution, you have no genetic defects that prevent you from uh, metabolizing vitamin D in the kidneys, and you have no gastrointestinal, so gut uh, damage, because inflammation and scar tissue will affect uh, and block uh, vitamin D absorption. And lastly, you have no gallbladder removal. So people are deficient in vitamin D for these reasons I've listed above. Uh, they're not getting it in their diet. They're not spending enough time out in the sun. And uh, as I mentioned, for these myriad of reasons that I've listed. So what I recommend uh, you do and I do and everyone else do is take 10,000 international units of vitamin D per day. And I'll include in the description below a couple suggestions of ones that I take and that I recommend. Uh, but vitamin D is really cheap and it goes a long, long way in optimizing your health. So don't neglect this vital uh, hormone. Um, actually, a hormone. I was going to say vitamin, but it actually is considered a hormone because of the interactions that it has in the body. So don't neglect this vital hormone and vitamin to uh, optimize your health.